What's going on folks, Simulation for the Nation here and welcome to my new midweek mod review. Uh, this is going to be something new that we're bringing to the channel every week there. Uh, every Wednesday and Friday we'll be doing a little bit of a review of either a first look of a new mod that uh, I've been granted early access to or a breakdown and a review of some of the mods that are available on the mod hub so far. Uh, and today we're going to do exactly that. It's going to be a bit of a review of what we've had so far and uh, all of these mods are actually coming just from today but there's something about each and every one of them that I really do love. We're going to have a look through them all. They're all available on the mod hub. Some of them are for PC and Mac only, but uh, I will let you know what they are as we get through them all. And we're going to start with what is undoubtedly one of the most uh, unique little uh, devices and machines that has arrived on uh, Farm Sim for quite some time. We are looking at this little guy. This is the Bonnie Rob. Uh, this is made by Hoffy. It is PC and Mac only, but this is the future of farming. This is a, uh, a robot. Uh, now, this autonomous uh, field robot is a carrier, really, for various different tools. The tools of which kind of go into here. Uh, right now, we have a, a weeder attachment. And what this will do is this will go through and remove any weeds as it drives up and down there. Currently, it's got a working width of about a meter. If I jump in, it powers itself on. It's away. And if I turn it on, look at it go. Yeah, that little thing. Isn't that neat? And that will go through and pick out any of the weeds it scans as it goes through there. Uh, if we look into the store for this guy, we're going to come through to miscellaneous. There you go, miscellaneous under vehicles, 8,000 pounds, and you can change out the tires, which is fairly kind of straight, uh, straightforward. But here you have, this is the default, this is kind of empty really, with its options to have carriers attached. Uh, this is the sprayer unit here, it has a working width of one meter wide. Uh, and then the soil sampler, which is as we know it, the soil sampler from the uh, precision farming really. It's going to do exactly the same thing there, really. And then we've got the weed right there that we know. It's just a nice little feature to have. It's something completely new there. It does have to require the Precision Farming DLC to function properly. Uh, but you can put that one in. And yeah, it has a working meter of a width there. You can set it all up to uh, scan through your fields. And it will do what it needs to do. So it's electric, as you can hear there, with uh, solar panels on. So you're, uh, you're all looking pretty good. I'll even tell you uh, when you bring up the information menu exactly how that is looking. And I think it's just a fantastic, fantastic insight, really. Uh, and something that I can't wait to see. What else comes, really? We've got a few uh, robotic uh, autonomous tractors out and about there now. This is, uh, this is just one step further, and I absolutely love it. Moving along, we're going to look at the Mashio Aquila Rapido 7 meter. This is a 7 meter power harrow and it's huge this is a joint project by agri italian modern uh featuring smi modern team as well uh so you know you're going to be in for some really good quality equipment here when the, when those names are attached to it and this is uh, without exception really this is a beautiful bit of equipment like i say seven meters wide there's going to take some power in but just check out the detail on it before we do anything else just look at the detail across the whole uh, machine here it's absolutely sensational really do like this an awful lot uh, what i particularly like is uh, when you go and jump on into store, obviously we're going to head across to Power Harrow. Uh, we'll have a look at it. 45,000 as a starting spot, but we have a plenty of different options. So that's your kind of uh, standard packer roller on the back. You can have a cage roller, more of a crumbler roller. You can have a flange roller on there as well. Uh, you can even get a rubberized roller, which a lot of people move into these days, which is kind of neat to have that option there. And then you've got the spiral packer as well, which is what we have fitted right now. So yeah, plenty of different options there. You can really uh, mix it up. It's going to require uh, quite a bit of power to pull this thing, about 250 horsepower. Imagine you're going to need some weight on the front of it to keep it mobile. Uh, and yeah, you're going to have a good a forward speed of about 9k. So ultimately, get some land covered with this in a single day here. I think it's just absolutely br uh, beautiful, really well made there, and really does stand out an absolute T. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be pulled by this beast, which is our next project. The Fiat 18090. This is by Pepe978 of the FSI group. Now, this is just an update that arrived today. It is, of course, available for PC uh, and consoles. Uh, we've had a few little fixes to this today here. Uh, Pepe has been able to uh, fix the refueling problem that we had here, uh, fix the front hitch problems as well, uh, and also add an extra large wheel configurations, uh, flashing lights, and a few uh, muffler configurations as well. I mean, I mainly wanted to do this just so I could jump in. And listen to that pair, folks. That is absolutely sensational, as always. It never tires of hearing that thing. Uh, really, it really is staggering. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is have a quick look in the store uh, just to see what options are available. Come along into medium size. Uh, so we're going to go through our... Uh, we've got a forestry kit there, of course, there. But what we want to do is... 
let's have a look at some different wheels shall we here so these are the variable wheel track options there this look at that big extra oh, look at those chunky boys they are incredible looking fantastic on there really really does look good and then you got your uh your standard your variable total there so you can change the width of all of these guys um and then it is just variable wides on the back as well but yeah what a treat that is one absolute gem of a machine i always love the various different configurations we have here with the short with the engine filter uh and then also with the uh the, the forestry kit on there but then things just like the uh, being able to put like the hydraulic uh, pistons on the back changing them out from big to uh from regular to, to monsters so that's all kind of neat but yeah just a beautiful beautiful tractor once again nice to see that uh, the fsi team and pepe are continually adding a few little adaptions there and uh, kind of really bringing it into its own moving on though we're going to be taking a look at the torian 1177 to 1511 this is a, a, a kind of a, a middle sibling i guess from the in-game giants uh, torians obviously we have the uh the the, the beast uh, which is i think this is the 1511 and onwards and then we have the small uh, front load the Torian as well there but this is the the middle child really uh, this is uh, has been designed and installed here by uh, two folks it's Dime Moderns and uh, Power Us de Boston uh, now this is pretty much set on the original in game only difference being here though it has a uh, configurable doors there you go Oh, uh, bigger doors which you can open, which I kind of find is pretty neat. I like to see that. I always like to open the doorway. I'm going to keep that open. Uh, and then, yeah, this is just like a little bit in between size, right? This has a 136 to 188 horsepower engine in it. Comes in around about 180 grand. By no means is it cheap, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of it. And I like having that door open there. I don't know why it's the little things, but yeah, I do like that an awful lot. But it's just nice to see that someone's made a few little changes. Uh, and really brought it into its own there. It is available across all platforms as well, PC, Mac, and console. But yeah, a very nice, smart, medium-sized loader. And again, because it's uh, based off the originals there, it's got some really nice, neat quality to it as well, I do believe. This, if I'm not mistaken, there, this could be a little bit of an older model, an older style in there. Uh, let me know in the comments there if you have any further indication. But yeah, really nice model of a, of a nice machine that we have there already. Which brings me on to this beast, the Class Dominator VX98. Now this is this is very much the, uh, an adaption of what is Giant's original um, mod hub dominator the the 108 I believe it is or 118 uh, and this is the 98 version a little bit smaller this is a slightly more modern version because it does have the newer shaped cab on it there uh, almost the cab from the Dominator Mega series. Uh, but beautiful uh, little uh, uh, styling. It has a few new features on there as well, such as you can change out some of the tires, have larger tires on there. Uh, you can also uh, change some of the color configs as well, which is really nice. You'll see at the moment here, we've gone for like the, the green with the older gray on there as well, which has this little strike in combination. Check out how big those rear tires are. They look fantastic on there. Really, really do look uh, pretty and in, in, uh, special. However, as we jump on in, much the same inside here it's still a beautiful looking vehicle really nice detail there that you would like to come to expect sounds fantastic as well uh but yeah ultimately it is uh coming in with two different options of headers the 4.2 meter and the 5.1 meter header there with respective cutter bar trailers as well uh this is by uh woodstastic uh which is available across the board on all platforms as well uh and it is on the mod to download now i just really like this i'm going to show you it when we come on into store what i really like about this uh this mod in particular as i look to try and find combines there you go come all the way to the very end it's a color configuration so first of all yes you've got your attire options there you can go to your michelins uh, which is always nice to have that's what we're on right now uh and you can have wider tires there or you can just go for the the beasts which seem to be a bit bigger uh, but i love that and then you've got your mitus options as we just scan through those a little bit wider again uh, and then you got your trail boards as well. I always do like that, that uh, option on the rear end for the, for the trellies. But let's take a couple of beacons on there. It's the colors. So you have like the, the old class green and the new class green, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's the it's the grays, right? That I really do like that. It's not much. You don't get to see it's on the underside, really, that you get to add that on there. And I think it just looks really, really nice. Uh, so you can kind of mix it up there if you want to go old and new, old and new. But that's all kind of what we're looking like and just a very nice addition very nice looking uh, combine there uh, and just allows you to refresh everything without refreshing and losing your favorite models there i think is the best way to put it 
Uh, and that is also available right now as we speak on the mod hub. And that is it, folks. That is the top five of the uh, midweek mods from me, Simulation for Nation. If you like this kind of thing, don't forget to hit give me uh, a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't, a thumbs down. Uh, drop a comment down below as well and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're going to be bringing these uh, twice a week for you. Like I say, once in the middle of the week and once at the end of the week where we can really break down everything that is coming through to the mod hub. Uh, if there are any mods in particular that you would like to uh, have, have a run through, then do uh, drop a link down below. Follow the Discord. Links are in the description as well. You can come and join us there. Uh, if you are a modder and you want us to showcase any of your mods, then do, of course, get in touch and we'll be able to do that wherever and whenever. Until next time, though, I've been Simulation for the Nation. I hope you have enjoyed and we'll see you all in the next one.